Welcome to the Sports MVT Insider, a platform where we are unrelenting in covering our women in sports. And of course, we absolutely love celebrating those moments, whether they might be small moments, but also those big moments as well. Today, we are focusing on the sport of golf, a sport that we don't talk about too often. And today, we've got an absolutely phenomenal South African golfer. She's currently playing on the Ladies PGA Tour in the United States as well. Her name is Paula Rito. Paula, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm, I'm doing well, thank you. I'm a little jet lagged here in America. I just flew over a couple of days ago from South Africa. But, um, you know, I'm happy to be here and happy to be able to chat with you guys. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us. I know that it's quite early in the morning there in the United States. So thank you so much for making time to join us. I'd like for us to start the conversation here. Let's take you away from the sport of golf okay. completely. Who is Paula away from the golfing course? You know what? Um, it's a good question. And um, sometimes I get revolved in my golf life so much that, um, but I try to definitely hone into who I am. And I'm a very family oriented person. I really enjoy spending time with my family. And that's why I also did make this trip to South Africa to be able to see them and make time for that. But, you know, I'm a very big animal lover. I enjoy, I have two dogs. Um, you know, I'm actually a very down to earth person. And I enjoy just doing outdoor things, whether it's like cycling, you know, around the neighborhood. I live sort of here near the Everglades, which is like very nice, calming scenery. But um, yeah, I'm very much down to earth person. I, I enjoy doing the little things. And um, but um, yeah, so just very family oriented in general. Absolutely beautiful. Let's talk about how you fell in love with the sport of golf and the sport that we now know you for as a professional South African golfer. Yeah, so kind of a, a weird story, to be honest. I uh, moved from South Africa to America and used to play different sports. And I kind of started late with golf, so never knew it really much growing up. And um, my dad sort of introduced me to the game and kind of quickly fell in love with it. Um, we went to play weekends and, and sort of here and there. So it wasn't like sort of, um, how can I say, a, an everyday thing. But as, as more and more I got to play the sport and, and do it, I really fell in love with it. And I went to go watch my first LPGA event. And pretty much after that, I told myself, you know what, this is what I want to do. I really like enjoy watching the girls and how good they are. And I was like, I want to do that. So pretty much right after that event, I would say it changed my mindset that uh, this is what I want to do. <laughs> oh, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Now, let's talk about your golfing experience in the United States. Of course, you started yeah. off as, as an amateur. And that's one thing that I want to emphasize and I want to focus on at the moment yeah. is how important is it for one to go through that amateur phase of playing golf before you actually reach the elite level? Yeah, 100%, because you know what's important? You learn so many things at every level, you know, junior golf, and then you get the higher um, amateur levels, and then you get pro. And you have to sort of go through these levels to, to become where you want to be at the end of the day. So just small things that you learn. For example, when I went to college, so it's obviously high amateur um, levels there as well, and I got to learn more course management. So when I played junior golf, I got to learn more about just playing, hitting the ball, technique, that kind of thing. And it's important because you can't really skip a step because when you're pro, sometimes those steps that you skip will come out and it will maybe be a bad habit or kind of get you in, 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 in a different, um, yeah, different habit basically that you don't want. So it's important to do that. You learn how to win. You learn who you are as a golfer. You learn what you can do, what you're capable of, what's your strengths. And all these things I, I'm, you have to learn as an amateur. And then you go, you know, college golf, and then you can turn pro. Um, so I think it's very important. And I'm glad I did go through that steps. And I always tell all the girls, go to college. You learn so much about who you are as a person. You learn how to travel. You learn how to, like, manage your time. All these things that are so important because once you're a professional golf, it's like you and you, you're, you're, you know, it's you and yourself out there. And you, you have to be able to to kind of help yourself so you make your life easier so it's not so stressful I'm on tour for sure. Definitely. Yeah. Now, I would like to take you back to 2013 when you became a professional golfer, but also when you made your debut in 2014 on the Ladies um, PGA Tour. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that feeling. And of course, yeah. this is the moment when you have reached the elite level of golf. 
Yeah, no. So I graduated in 2013 um, May. And because I had, um, I was ranked, I think I was ranked seventh in the country for amateur. They allowed some of the girls to come play um, on the tour below LPGA. So I said, okay, I signed up for a couple events. I went to go play. It was my first few times out. Kind of learned what, how pro golf is, learned, um, learned the, the inside the ropes and how that works and stuff. And then I told myself, okay, I think I'm ready to go to Q school, which is at the end of 2013. And there's three stages. And I did really well on each of the stages and ended up qualifying, but very stressful, didn't know what to expect. And I told myself, um, the best thing I can do is just sort of one day at a time, it learn as much as I can, grab everything out of it, not maybe make it as a stressful thing, but rather just as a learning thing. And I told myself also that um, it doesn't matter if I win or lose, let's learn experience. Let's get all of it in because the end goal is still quite you know far ahead. Oh. And then I played, um, so then I got my card and then I played 2014 and oh my gosh, it was so stressful. I remember it was my first year in Bahamas and I was so nervous every single shot. I told myself, you know what? It's okay. I have a whole year out here. Let me just really take it easy. Maybe this is something I need to learn a little bit more about myself. Maybe I need more practice. Maybe I need, you know, and uh, so all these things was going in my head. But um, at the end of the day, it's everybody has to go through it. And maybe I just dealt with it a little differently. And I just sort of kept at it. I'm, I'm quite a bit of a fighter, so I'm not going to give up. And yeah, so it was obviously very enjoyable, very starstruck at the at the beginning, but I, I, I loved it. Oh, absolutely beautiful. <laughs>